Hi, Edie. Hello, everyone. My name is Mr. Fruit, and welcome back to Storytime with Mr. Fruit. I'm so glad to have you back again by the imaginary fireside. My apartment, one, wouldn't allow an actual fire inside my apartment. Two, I wouldn't want to do that. And three, that would be pretty sick. But that's not the point. We're here telling some stories from me to you, the viewer. And the stories range from, well, pretty much just experiences I've had in my life. And that's what we're here for. So if you're new to the series, welcome. We have two other ones previously. One where I talked about um, my prom king story. And the other one where I talked about... Oh, oh, the devil cat. The devil cat. Oh, yeah. How could I forget the devil cat, of course? And this story, much like that one, is a close encounter with death. And you might think I'm hyperbolizing, but nay. No, I almost died. And you'll find out how. In just a second. So it involves another crawly, creepy, living thing. So every summer, I go down to Georgia to go visit some family. So for those of you in the States, you know Georgia. For those outside of the U.S., I'm not talking about the country Georgia. I'm talking about the state Georgia and the U.S. And it's known for being humid, hot, forested, you know, deep south. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. So, uh, my, my, a lot of my family is there, and so we go visit them during the summer. So this, this time around was nothing different. So if you don't know, the two things in the world that host the weirdest things are Australia and Florida. Georgia's close to Florida, so I like to think some things maybe seep on over or something. I don't know. They have a lot of weird things, a lot of bugs. Gnats. Oh, yeah, gnats. Oh, my. Whew. You have not experienced that before, Hopefully. And if you have, well, you know the pain. Those are annoying. Anyway, I'm just enjoying a night before I head to bed. I'm in my Mimi and Pa's room. We're chilling out. And by we, I guess me, myself, me, myself, and I. So I, which I don't know why I said we. Yes, you were there with me, weren't? Don't you remember this story? <laughs> we'll have such a laugh about it. No, okay, so I was sitting there watching a movie on their little TV and their little VCR thing, and I was watching the movie Seven. So if you know what the movie Seven is, it's, uh, it stars Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman. And one, it's, uh, it's been popularized from the scene where there's a box and Brad Pitt's like, Watch at the box! Watch at the box! So you probably at least heard that phrase or something alluded to at some point. Maybe you've seen the movie. So you know what I'm talking about. It's sort of like a creepy horror detective movie. You know, like this dude's out on a killing spree. Uh, I think he's killing seven people or something. It was the first time I've seen it, so I was a little creeped. I was like, ooh, it was a little creepy. And I remember... One of the scenes, they're in some, like, dark house, and it's like, bleh, it's like, uh, bleh, bugs are everywhere, it's creepy crawly. And around that time, I felt something touch me, sort of, in a way. I, you know you know that feeling where, like, you just get it, like, like, a little itch, like a phantom itch or something, like, maybe something there, whatever. So, like, you know, I just brushed away. I'm thinking I'm just a little crawly from this video. You know what I'm saying? The movie's got me, give me the goosebumps. So... I just go on with my movie, do a little brush. I go on with the movie, and it continues to be creepy as ever. Now, fast forward a few minutes. I'm enjoying the movie, you know, sitting there. And it should be noted, I'm on top of the bed, but I'm not under the covers. The covers are still made and everything, so I'm on top of the comforter. And I ha I'm, like, sitting, like, crisscross applesauce, you know? So, like, my legs are crossed. I'm chilling there, watching this movie. Also, it's in the dark. So, the only thing illuminating the room is the TV, because it's, like, 10 or 11 p.m. at this point. So I'm watching the movie, a few minutes past, and I feel this weird sensation again. But it's like, but like, normally, you know, like, you get that, and you, just, you just instantly brush it off, or whatever, you get the itch, or whatever. So I let it sit for a second or two, but the feeling didn't go away. So I was like, what? So I just brushed again, I was like, ah, that's, and it went away, I was like, that's weird. So, for some reason, I'm like, well, I'm just gonna, I don't know, this is, this is odd. So I pause the movie, I get up, I turn on the lights, you know, I'm, surveying the room. It's not a very big room. Look on the, the bed. I don't see anything. I was like, all right. I'm, I'm going crazy. <laughs> this movie's got me a little freaked out. I think that's it. Just the jitters. I'm going to leave the light on, get back on bed, and continue watching this movie. So I left the lights on this time. I'm watching the movie, enjoying it as I will. And then again, fast forward, I don't know, maybe five, ten minutes. It's not a, a, a repeat offender in the fact that it just... No, it's... It waits. But what waits? So, watching the movie, I feel it again. So I'm like, ah. And, it, and, it, and it's right on, on my knee, sort of, you know? The left side of your kneecap. 
That's where I am because, I'm, again, I'm sitting crisscross applesauce. Not the point. I also don't know why I'm sitting crisscross applesauce. I never say that. It's what kindergartens say. <laughs> Nerds. Crisscross applesauce. Anyway, I get the feeling. So this time, I calmly look down. And as I'm looking down, something in the corner of my eye is grabbing my attention. So I quick, oh, I dart my, my gaze onto my knee. And you know what I see? The devil himself. Now you might have thought, well, I thought the cat was the devil. He has reincarnated yet again. Coming into my life. First the cat, and now this time, one freaking giant mumbo wumba jumbo King Kong spider. Mumbo, what? I ain't joking with you. Okay, so I can't show my knee because it physically doesn't reach that high. But let's say my, what was my knee? Okay, so my kneecap's about like this, right? Okay. And here's the spider. It's like the freaking size of my kneecap. And I am freaking out. Because I see that. I go, wah! I hit it this time. I just, poo, darted on out of here. Okay? And I, I jump up out of the bed. I sit in the doorway to go out into the hall. And I'm sitting there. And I see it on the bed. I'm like, oh my god. So I'm, first, you know, I'm watching from afar, watching my offender, seeing what he does, maybe gather some info, some intel, maybe learn how to destroy this beast. And also, naturally at this point, my, my mind just racing. I said, like, what if it's a jumping spider? What if it comes over here? What the? Like, you know, it's one of those things from Alien. You know, face sucker, you didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know it's Georgia. You can never be too sure about stuff there. So I do the only natural thing a grown man would do I close the door and go run to my mom. That's what I did, okay? It wasn't very rational. So my mom's sleeping. I go into her room. <laughs> She's like, uh, what is it? calm down, what is it? And I'm like, there is a giant thing back there trying to eat me. She's like, oh, I'm sure it's just nothing. Let's go check it out. So she leaves and I'm like hiding behind her like, careful, careful mother. You don't know. You don't know the things I've seen. So, unfortunately, well, okay, so my thought was close the door so that it can't get out of that, you know, and infect the rest of the house. So she opens the door to make sure nothing's coming coming out of the doorway immediately. And so I go, I show her, he's like, it's right. It's gone. The spider has disappeared. It is no longer on the bed. I'm starting to get goosebumps just from time. <sighs> it's no longer on the bed. It's disappeared. So we're looking on the carpet. I'm freaking out because I was like, I don't know how that thing hides because that thing was freaking huge. She's like, oh, how big was it? I'm like, it's like freaking this size. You don't understand. That's about how big it is. Yeah, I take it back. It was like freaking five feet at least. Anyway, that's not the point. It's disappeared. And we don't know where it is. I didn't finish the movie. I finished it later. Don't worry. But as I okay, I can't. I cannot be in here. It's not going to happen. And my mom thinks I'm crazy. Like, oh, no, it's whatever. There's spider thought. It's harmless. I was like, nothing that big. And creepy crawly is harmless. Now, it should also be noted, I took an insect class in college. And I actually know a lot about them now. Arachnids and everything. And I also know that you shouldn't just go killing spiders because they're actually really helpful. And there's only very few that could even possibly endanger you and then even then the most dangerous unless you're in australia sorry guys you're pretty much good you guys out in australia have that red red back red something but that's a spider i don't want to mess with but that's not the point point is i even knew rationally that this spider probably wouldn't do anything to me it was probably just a house spider probably wouldn't even bite me probably doesn't have toxins but pff, i didn't think about that i'm freaking out i'm like this thing has tasted the fruit and it's going to come back. So I go to my room to, you know, naturally go to sleep. Not much sleep was had that night. Can you imagine? I'm laying in bed. At this point, it's about midnight. Uh, it's a small house, so my brother's on the other side of the bed. And I'm lying there. And it, it you you probably, you at some point in your life, you probably had this, where it just feels like everything's touching you or like everything's on you right now. Because we don't know where the spider is anymore. It could be, it, it could have been under those covers. I don't know. We didn't know. So, yeah, you try and go to sleep middle of the night knowing that that big thing's coming for you. And it feels like I'm like trying to sleep. 
But I was like, will you quit moving? I'm like, well, I'm trying to stay alive. You over there can get eaten, but I'm going to stay alive. I'm the smart one. So, turns out, yeah, it never, never came. Spider never bit me. We were fine. So, yeah, that was that was my close encounter with uh, with death. Which also reminds me, another time we were in the living room sleeping uh, with my other brother. And I woke up in the middle of the night. And to this day, I still don't know. I woke up to the, to the sound of... Something was flying in the living room. What the... Is it, is it like a bee or a horse fly? And sure enough, like it's... And I'm, I'm looking at this thing. It's like, what the fudge? I mean, it was like probably this big flying on around. And I get my brother up and he looks at it. And to this day, we don't know what it was. It's probably the Chupacabra or Sasquatch. So that was weird. Probably could have documented a new species. But yeah, that, that's, that's my spider story. Pretty climactic, huh? Listen, I know how it sounds. Nothing too crazy, but I got it to end the moment. My heart was pumping. Beads of sweat everywhere. Unsure if fear or humidity or both. Probably both. But my gosh, that was it. Whew! I don't remember that day till the day I die. Surely by the hands of whatever beast that was. So, moral of the story is, go watch Seven. It's a great movie. I'll see you guys in the next story time. Tell me what, man. I can feel it still.